So you think you can hack? Of course you can. Everyone can. But here's a few tips so you can make the most of your time in the mountains. Welcome to Austria. Confidence on the trail is paramount. It's super important to make sure that you have a comfortable hike. To make sure that you practice with your pack, so with your backpack. Take all the stuff you want to bring on a hut to hut track and just go for a walk. If you live in a flat country, walk. Walk for five hours. Bring that backpack and put at least the same weight in it as you would when you're in the mountains. It will make your back get used to the weight and also your core muscles will already be engaged enough to gain some confidence. And then before you know it, you're dancing. Happy days. An important hiking tip is to always let people know where you are, especially if you're alone. If you're hiking alone and something happens and you want to know that some people at least know where you are on that day. So share your itinerary. It's as simple as that. And if you're hiking alone and you can hike with someone else that, for example, you meet in a hut, you will meet lots of people. That will also really help because alone is very alone. In the Alps, you are never alone. More cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell. It's uh, uphill hiking. Try to control your breathing. Use this one. Your tummy. Take a full breath. So that you also breathe energy into your body. So no shallow breathing. You're not doing a sprint. This is endurance. So take small steps and deep breaths. You do need to watch your step from time to time. Sometimes snow has caused quite some erosion. And so if you take one, one wrong step, you can fall off the mountain. You walk the wrong way and you don't see the red, white flags anymore. You think, oh, we're on the wrong trail. And the right thing to do is to hike back in the direction where you came from and then start over. Don't go off the trail, make your own trail, just like Rinche is now doing. Hike back and here we go. You survived. <laughs> How not to hike with Rinche Boss. Uh, one of the important things when you're hiking is, is that you stay hydrated. So try to drink, if you can, at least at least two liters, which you already need anyway. If you can double that or at least drink three liters, that would really add some benefits. And also use sunscreen. We've just been hiking for 20 minutes and I'm, I'm soaking in sweat and we're under the full sun. So try to cover your arms, not like I'm doing, and use sunscreen in your face, on your arms, on your legs, on your hands, just, just stay protected. Look at that! Woo! What kind of shoe should you bring on your Hata Hat track? Well, let's have a look and see what the people have brought. Most people have brought boots. Look at this one. That's a big fat one. These are wrenches boots. Pretty nice and fast. These are pretty sturdy as well. Not many hiking shoes here. Uh, this one, this is more like a fast hiking boot, like a AB category. Obviously there's only one idiot on trail running shoes. That's me. Whatever you bring on your hot to hot tour, make sure that you've worn them in. If you are hiking on these for the first time, so let's say they're brand new, then there's a fair chance you will have blisters. Whatever you do, just make sure that they're worn in. Go for a boot, 
get some proper advice at a proper outdoor shop, then before you know it, you're ready for your hunt to hunt track. So when you're descending, it is important to find your own flow. If you're a little bit insecure about descending, then it's best to lean a little bit backwards. If you feel that you have the right footing, then you can almost land a little bit on your forefoot. This will not be possible like on, for example, very sturdy mountain boots because they're a little bit more centered to the heel. But for example, if you have approach shoes or you have trail running shoes, that will allow you to be quite agile on the trails. Another great tool for hiking is uh, hiking poles. You can use those hiking poles to basically fast hike down. It's important that when you do that, that you know how to. Hiking poles are great, but if you don't know how to use them, better to maybe do a day trip and get some practice before you take them on a five to nine day hut to hut track and you don't really like them. Because what goes up must come down and the same counts for your hiking gear. Maybe you've watched that movie about uh, Christopher McCandless, Into the Wild. Of course, there's also the book. He says at some point, happiness not real when not shared. So share the happiness. And I'm not talking about social media. I'm referring to going together. If you can go together, go together. If you want to go alone, then make sure you're experienced. If it's your first one, maybe choose to go with a friend or with your family. It's a great way to, to get to know your loved ones even better than you already know them. That's why Vinci and I, we also go together. If you want more tips on either how to pack your bag, what to bring on your hut to hut track, how to hike, what to expect on the huts, check out the links in the description, subscribe and get in touch.